Welcome back. In this video, we are going to see the folder structure for the course and as well as how to create the shape file for the study area. So what we do, we first need to create a folder structure for the whole course. So right click, name a folder, project one. Inside that folder, you create some folder. Where is this montage? Another one, QGIS. Another one, sofa. Another folder. We call it uh, Google at Puru. We have images or final images from all the softwares. Then lastly, orders like PowerPoint or Excel. We come here. So inside the OS montage. We have folders of like grids, spectral, blocks, we have specs, blocks. Here we have images, we have this, the grid, okay, grids where we put our grids, the images, spectral blocks, and the specs blocks, that is where we bring all our spec files, then the spectral blocks, and inside open the grid, they will open our project resources from the first video of the series you can watch that one where well, i ask you to download the video the the files inside the grid files we we'll copy the grid file 080 copy and inside you paste So we have a grid 80. So we close. We now open OS Monitor software. Click on Project New. Then we we'll move to Desktop where we we'll locate that folder, which is Project One, under OS Montage. We we'll give the project name App. I give it any other name but let me just call it up then click save close the section then under grids you right click add grids navigate to that folder I ask montage grids select click on this okay so now we have our grids so we have to reproject these grids Utilities, reproject grids, select the grid, yes, next. From the set, from the spec files, which is this. You can see is UTM zone 32 degree knot. So UTM 32 degree knot. Okay, then now a new grid file. We'll call it TMI lat long. The next under the coordinate system change it to geographic longitude lat, then click OK. 
click finish so this is what we have now we have the TMI latitude longitude then we we'll change this one to a map to map view mode from here we we'll export it to the KMAZ format to be used in Google Art Pro as key, key, key old markup language then OK next stop then go back to that project now in this time around we'll put it under Google Art Pro then we call it study study area grid that is for the grid then ok to minimize let's go back to that folder our project one which is this double click google art pro so this is what we have and from this we double click and make sure that you have google art pro install your software there you double click on it so wait for some few seconds it's going to take you right to that point as you can see this is our grid on top of the google art so what we're going to do we want to remove all this stuff on our grid so we come here we off we set the roots off borders and labels and as well as places so you can pan by holding the left mouse button and drag you can zoom by using the middle mouse button front and back that's how you zoom now we want to draw a rectangle around the shape that's what we're going to get to form our shape file so what we do under my places right click we'll create a folder which we call study area yeah, okay then under that study area right click add polygon study area style and column select right we we'll set the width to three outline then now they will click the corners you can see we have this then from here don't worry you can see it's not well aligned but don't worry we can correct that later then click ok then go back to that study area right click properties now move this one by the side or this side and now move this point click and then drag to position it click to position it you can use the scroll mouse wheel button again move this one up a little bit move the left arrow button the right the down arrow buttons to move it forward then click this point let's see you bring it down yeah so I think let's see you can zoom and see okay you can see it's well arranged that is left out then finally we click ok then let's off this study area grid this one so we can now see it so this is the google art um, kmz polygon 
So now the next thing we have to export this one, which is this third area here. Then we right click, save places as. Then go back to desktop. We'll move to our project one. Google Art Pro, this time around. Call it Square Study Area. Share file. I will not leave like the study area, square study area. So they will select the format KML, then click save. So this is what we have here. So if you like, you can close. So there's this card. And I will close. And let's open QGIS, which is also a free software which you can download QGIS 3.16 is what we are using here let's wait for it to open so on on mode navigate where you have new project or under project you put new or you can just double click here so anyone use the same so click new from there let's import that our file we save from google art pro so we need to add it here then click on this which is op open data source or you can come to under layer add new layer then we cannot add them here but let us do it here click on this to add then move under vector database click then move to desktop project one google art pro then the file format will change it to key ml city key all markup language i think this is the one study area square study area click ok then add we close you can see this is the one so let's remove the the fill color So what we do we double click under symbology we click simple fill under the fill type we set it to none no brush then the stroke color we set it to red increase size consider preview here then click apply okay so now this is our study area in square format as you can see this is what we have so far so if you like you can edit by going there and readjust it it's all the same so this is what we have so far okay so this is now our study area